back today. Jared writes, I listen to you guys every day and need my fix, so never stop uploading videos. My question is, why on earth am I still waiting for the D23 trailers? I find myself searching if they release the Jungle Book trailer as sh Schmoes know, and John Campia said it stole the show. Also, the Civil War footage, I do not know why, but why wouldn't they do what Warner Brothers did with B versus S? To me, releasing the footage after they show it to D23 would not only satisfy the people at the event, mostly press, so they can see it again and the people that were obviously not there. There is a massive, massive difference between the trailer we got for Batman versus Superman at Comic-Con and the Jungle Book and Civil War and Doctor Strange for that matter, stuff that they showed us at D23. The Batman versus Superman trailer was put together as a trailer that if Comic-Con was not happening, that trailer was gonna get released. They just decided to release it at Comic-Con and then show it to the rest of the world. That was the thing that the studio and the filmmakers put together. This is our trailer. This is our package that we wanna present to the world. This is the representation of our movie. And that trailer was coming out regardless of Comic-Con. Now at D23, what they showed us in terms of Civil War, and especially Jungle Book, and maybe especially, especially uh, Doctor Strange, that is footage they do not want to show the world. If D23 did not happen, they would never have put those packages together. But they thought, okay, we want, just because we want something to show the people at D23, we will put this together. Like John Favreau even there at the, at the event at D23 said, he didn't want to show anybody anything at this point, but he got talked into it i.e. commanded. He got talked into putting something <laughs> together for the audience at D23. Kevin Feige did the same thing with Civil War. It was not a trade. This, the, what they showed us at D23, while it got us excited and everything, studios are very, very cautious and very careful about the image of their properties. And they, when they put something out to the world, they want it to be the package that they are ready for the world to see. What they showed us at D23 for both Jungle Book, Civil War, stuff like that, is not something that they would say, this is what we want the public's first impression of our movie to be. It ain't it. We'll show it to the small group, like six, 7,000 people at D23, because they're here and this is a special occasion. But it's a universe difference between the Batman vs. Superman trailer trailer and this footage we saw here. Anyway, you were in the, that theater with me. What are your impressions of this? Well, you're right, but it's also a matter of, of marketing uh, you know, strategy and timing and, and all that stuff because if you have a movie like Batman v Superman, which at the time from July was less than a year away when they, sh when they right. showed it, yep. Jungle Book is a long way away. So you don't, you, you, the, what you will see stuff from, the, especially from the Civil War stuff that they showed, you will probably see a lot of the stuff that we saw at D23 in the in trailer the that trailer, they show yeah. because that movie is closer to be to being done. It comes out in in what is it? April, May, or April, April, May. May One like of that. those two. It comes out. It comes out fairly s soon. So you're going to see a trailer for that. I would think coming up. Um, I don't know whether it be at the end of the year or the beginning of the year. You're going to see something along those lines. Uh, but with Jungle Book, you don't want to. What what they both did. Both of those trailers. It created buzz. Because yep. you just sent in an email about the Jungle Book, which you probably wouldn't have had you not heard all the buzz and the people were raving about it. They showed what they could. They, they, and I have to give props to Disney. The way that the, their security handled it, they had no leaked footage. They did it right. Unbelievable. Absolutely <laughs> smart the way in that they hall did it. hall bigger than Hall H. Because they made, yeah. unlike, the press was the only ones who had their phones. Mm -hmm. They made everyone else check their phones. I um, didn't know that. Yeah. So that is something for Comic-Con and these other things. I know that's big, but you got it, better security teams and better. Think about Disney did it right. That's why they didn't get leaked. Now, Suicide Squad came out. They, I don't think they were going to ever release that, but because it got leaked and they didn't want the crappy t the quality, because it's a movie they're they're so relying on to be good and they're proud of that trailer, they released it. And David Ayer, because they, David Ayer, remember, get pissed off, didn't want. But didn't, didn't they want say they out. were going? They were planning on releasing it like eight weeks later Maybe or something eight weeks like that. Later. Yeah, it was same, like, thing, well, same thing with like, Deadpool. But that yeah. was the trailer. It was the trailer, right? Right. So, but as far as Jungle Book, it, it's marketing, a strategy, it, it's all that stuff, and it's about buzz. Yeah, it, it, it's less about whether the product is actually finished and ready. It's like, when do we want you guys to see? Right. Because even you bring up something like Batman v Superman, B versus S, or as I'm going to call it, Beavis. We haven't seen the movie. The movie's done. The Please movie don't is call it finished. Please I'm going to call it Beavis. Beavis. 
Beavis is done, okay? <laughs> it is ready. <laughs> Beavis is ready to see, but they're not going to release it until March. They're going to move up from that same way that some of these trailers, but I think I can speak for all of us. When we laid our naked steaming eyeballs upon that Jungle Book trailer, Favreau said it was 90% done. That thing was 100% done. It looked awesome. I can't wait for everybody else to see it so I can talk to you guys. Yeah, going back to that, I can't remember if we told the story before or not, but going back to that D23 event, Christian was just telling you that like press was the only ones even allowed to bring in phones, and we couldn't have our phones out. Like we were not like if they saw us with our phones out, they were throwing us out. Mm. They they were went over us like over and over again. By the way, it was not mostly pressing that thing. There was a small little s fraction of a percentage right. of right. the people in that room were actually pressed. The vast majority of them were just D twenty three fans. But they told us no pictures. Keep your phones put away once the presentation starts. Keep them put away. All this kind of stuff. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. So Christian and I, I don't think you had joined us yet oh, in the okay. room. Christian and I go into the room, we sit down and we're, we're talking and we're waiting for the thing to start. And in comes this one guy from the press. And I'm just going to assume he didn't foreign know better. Press. It was, foreign was it foreign press? press? Yeah. Yeah. Comes in from the press, sits down in a chair in front of us. And I kid you not, <laughs> pulls out a tripod, <laughs> Boom! Sets down a lens this big. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It was I like wish, a lens. I turn. I go. He must have gotten permission. <laughs> yeah, like he pulls out a lens this big, onto right. the tripod, and he's sitting there just ready to go. And then the Christian, I'm like, what? What? Yeah, I, I thought he got permission or something too. And because they they ran over to him, like put it away, and he could play the. Oh, no, I did not understand. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, it was just kind of funny because the Disney rep kind of walks by, kind of looks over and does a double take. Right, and right. go, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, way to be conspicuous.